Hi everyone, welcome to another video on AWS Lambda. And in this video, I'll talk about how to create a, a zip file of your all the local codes and deploy them on AWS Lambda. So in the previous video, uh, we saw how we can create a Lambda function and execute it. And the code that we were executing was very simple. It does not have any additional uh, dependencies or library. And so it was fairly simple, but when you are building an application, you have uh, you do have a lot of external dependencies. And so when you want to deploy such code on Lambda, you need to also uh, bundle your dependencies because by default, AWS Lambda only provides you the, the Python runtime, which only has the standard libraries. And so if you are using any third party libraries, you need to provide the dependencies yourself. And in this video, uh, we will look at how we can do so. So if you have not watched my previous video, please watch them and then you can continue this one. Okay, so with that, um, I, I've, I've created this uh, readme file where you can see uh, how we can create this deployment package. And what this deployment package is basically uh, a bundle of all your codes and your dependencies that you can deploy on your AWS Lambda. Okay, so we will create some uh, local code here and we'll try to create a zip file and then we'll deploy it on AWS Lambda. So for that, let me create a directory, we'll name it no dependency. And inside this directory, I will create a file, name it lambda function. dot py and let's copy this code which does not have any dependency and let me uh, edit this so instead of hello world from lambda let's say hello world from zip file zipped file in lambda okay so let's save it. So now we have our local code that we want to deploy on AWS Lambda. And to do that, we need to create a zip file. And I will create a zip file in this same directory. I will name it my deployment package. Let's say my deployment.zip. And in this zip file, I want to add this lambda function file. Okay. So now we have our zip file, which has uh, our code that we want to run on AWS Lambda. Now what we want to do is we'll go to our lambda function. And in the code section, you can see there is this upload from option. So when you click it, you can select the zip file and we will upload it. So the directory was no dependency and the name of my zip file is my deployment. And we will save it. So the, what this will do is this will upload your local code on AWS Lambda. And as you can see, this is the change that we added in that code. And now what we want to do is we want to run it. So I'll create a test event. Save and click on test okay so mm, we can see that this was the response and this is how you can create a zip file and deploy your code on aws lambda which does not have any dependencies now we will look at uh, the code which does have some dependency so let's go back to terminal uh, let's move outside of this directory uh, i will create a new directory and name it let's say code with dependency uh, let's go inside this okay so uh, let's create a, a python file or let's say a python code which has some dependency and i'll name it lambda function and for the sample code uh, you can visit my repository here in the AWS Lambda, I will add the link for this repository in the description. 
so here is a piece of code which has some uh, which has some external dependency we'll copy it and then paste it here i'm sorry uh, it was not copied okay let me clear it all okay so uh, now we have a piece of code which has some external dependency and the library that we are using is request so let me save this file and if i were to simply run this file without installing this dependency we should get some error yeah so module not found error so now what I will do is I will create a zip file. I'll name it my deployment dot zip and I'll add this lambda function file in here. So now we have uh, a zip file my deployment which has this new lambda function which has uh, some external dependency and now if we go to our lambda function and click on upload from select the zip file and we'll select the code with dependency my deployment.zip open and save so now we have our latest code as you can see it has some external library and now if i were to run this lambda we should get some error Okay. So, what happens is uh, Lambda does not know about any other dependencies or it does not provide any additional dependencies that your, uh, that, that your code needs. So, by default, it only has the standard uh, libraries. And so, if you are using some external dependencies, you need to bundle them together along with your code. So, that is what we are going to do now. So, we will create a pack. Uh, create a directory named let's say dependencies dependencies and we will install our library that is request inside uh, this folder so pip gives you option to specify the location where you want to install your library so pip3 install target equals to uh, dependencies Uh, sorry, I forgot to specify the name of the library. Okay, so if we look at this folder, now we have uh, the package here that is request, and because this request package depends on other sub packages as well, so it automatically installs them. So now what we want to do is I'll go inside this uh, package and I will create a zip file with all of these uh, libraries. So for that, I will use the zip and minus r command to recursively add them. And then I will create this zip file outside this dependency folder. So that is uh, here and I will name it my deployment. Okay. Uh, before doing that, let me remove the previous zip file. my deployment.zip okay now let's go inside the dependency folder and we'll create a zip file we'll use the minus r flag and name of the zip file but we want to create this outside of this uh, folder my deployment.zip and we'll provide the current location of the files that we want to add the add in this zip file okay so if we go outside of this folder, now we have this deployment package, my deployment.zip, which has uh, basically all the dependencies that it requires, but it, it does not has the code yet. So now we will add our code uh, in this zip file. To do that, we'll use the zip command, name of the, uh, name of the zip file and the Python file that we want to add in here, okay. So now we have uh, our code as well as dependencies bundled together. 
And now what we'll do is we will again go back to our lambda and upload this zip file. So it should not take so code with dependency and we'll select our zip file and click on save. So this time around what we are doing is we are uh, uploading our code as well as the external dependencies that it requires. So now if we if we were to run this code sorry I think there was some let me look at the code okay, here uh, we have some spelling mistake uh, what I will do is I'll change it here so, nano lambda function response I'll save it and I'll add this file in the zip file okay now I will upload it my deployment.zip and save So uh, as you can see, we have all our dependencies and our Lambda function inside the same directory. And now if we run it, first let's verify. Okay, now it's fine, it is response. We will run it and as you can see, it was success. And one more th thing to point out here, uh, you may have noticed that the name of my Lambda function is actually Lambda function or let's say the name of my file is Lambda function. And if we look at the code, the name of my method is lambda handler. So these two are really important because the default setting in lambda is that uh, the file name should be lambda function and the method name should be lambda handler. So if you are using a different file name or a different method name, then you need to edit it from here. And then you can specify the name of the file here and the name of the method. So this is how you can uh, deploy your local code which has some dependencies on AWS Lambda. And the default structure for them is like this. So all your dependencies and your Lambda function file should be in the same directory. And if your structure is like this, Lambda will be able to uh, find the dependencies that it requires and then run your code. Okay, And we will look at one more example where we are using a virtual environment because when you are building a Python application most of the time you are using a virtual environment because you uh, that's much easier to maintain and for this what we'll do is let's move out of this directory uh, we'll create a new directory and name it code with virtual environment and let's go inside it code with virtual environment and we'll create a virtual environment in here virtual environment name of my virtual environment that is my vnv okay uh, now we'll activate this bin activate okay now the virtual environment is activated and now what we'll do is we'll install our library that is a request okay and in here we don't have any code so let's add our python code in here we'll name it lambda function and for the sample you can visit my repository here we'll copy it and paste paste it here so I will just change the error let's say add one print statement here to know that this was the code that was actually executed so <clears throat> running code from virtual environment Okay, uh, with this I will save it. 
So now we have our virtual environment and our uh, Python file. So now what we want to do is we want to create a zip file which has all the libraries that are installed inside this virtual environment. So let's go. So let's go and uh, look for all those uh, dependencies installed in this virtual environment. So when you are installing anything, uh, so all the packages goes inside um, your library folder inside the Python version and the site packages. So this is where all the libraries are installed when you are working with virtual environment. So now what we want to do is create a zip file. We want to create a zip file um, outside this uh, my VNV. So we will go back. We will go back. We will go back and we will go back. We will name our zip file as my deployment dot zip and we'll provide the location of the files that we want to add in this uh, zip file. So now if we were to go back here you can see we have a new zip file and it has all the dependencies that were inside the virtual environment and now what we'll do is we'll add our code in here as well. So name of the file and the file name that you want to add in here that is lambda function okay so now what we'll do is we will go back to our lambda function and we'll upload this zip file so it was inside aws lambda uh, code with virtual environment and this is the zip file select save so when you are uploading a file uh, whose size is very large, you won't be able to uh, see it in your Lambda console. So uh, you can see here the deployment package of your Lambda function is too large to enable inline code editing. However, you can still invoke your function. So we cannot edit it uh, here on the AWS console itself, but we can run it, of course. So we will run it. And we'll go in the details and look for the print statement that we added. So here it is. So this is the log output. And here we can see this is the print statement that we added. So uh, there is one more place where you can see all the logs that are produced by your code or uh, basically all the standard output. So for that, go in the monitor section and we have this view logs in CloudWatch. So what happens with Lambda is that all the uh, logs are automatically added in the CloudWatch. So you don't have to configure it yourself. Okay, uh, so we are in the CloudWatch and if we look at the latest log, you can see here, this is the print statement that we added and this is from the request library itself okay so yeah this is how you can deploy your local code which has dependencies on aws lambda and i think yeah that's it for this video uh, in the next one i'll try to uh, talk about uh, api gateway where you can expose your Lambda outside this uh, AWS. So, so far, as you have seen, we have only invoked uh, our Lambda from within the AWS. So for the next video, I'll, uh, I'll show you how you can uh, expose your Lambda to the outside world. And yeah, that's the end of the video. So if you uh, like this, uh, if you think you learned something, do like, uh, do like this video. And if you have any feedbacks, uh, do write it in the comment section and yeah do subscribe thanks bye bye